Okay, this is one of this week's jobs. It's a Super King bed that's got to be painted and delivered to my daughter Emily. And it's going to be painted in whatever colour is in that box there. The other job I've got to do is to repair that mobility scooter, so I'm going to get on with that right now. Right, before I actually start to repair it, I'm going to show you a normal mobility scooter and how it should work. It's the same principle for all scooters. This one's a small Invercare boot scooter. At the bottom here is a lever. This is the brake for seeing to drive and neutral. So if you lift the lever up, you can just push it by hand. If you put it to drive, and turn it on. Here we go forward. On the one I have here to repair, there's the lever. And it doesn't matter what you do with it, it won't go into drive. So when you turn it on, it's not going to go anywhere. So I've got to take it apart to find out what the problem is. So if you'd like to know what the problem is, you've got to stay tuned. Oh, right, so I've got all the covers off and the batteries are now out. And I can tell there's absolutely nothing wrong with the brake there. This wouldn't cause that, that's for sure. Not unless it's completely fouled. Uh, so I think the next thing to do will be to take out the, uh, this is the controller just here. So I'm going to remove the controller and then take the motor out. So, yeah, here goes. Right, so the problem is very serious. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the motor. That's its drive part just there. This part here goes onto this here. Now this just turns. Now if that's turning like that, really, without anything happening along here, then there's a problem inside. So this is a far more serious problem than, than usual. So I've got two choices. Take it apart, investigate it, but I know I don't have one of these. Or get another transaxle. And I think unfortunately it's going to be another transaxle. I don't think I've got one spare hanging around anywhere. Not for this size of motor. So I'll go and have a look. Other than that, it's uh, buy one in, it's under warranty, so it's up to me to fix it. So, right. look what I found on eBay. Yep, an axle for this scooter. So, I'm at home, I've paid for it, it's on its way. So, hopefully, by the end of this video, we'll be seeing that scooter put back together and working. Let's hope so. Right, so I found the back axle for that scooter so we can get that repaired hopefully by the end of this video. So the next thing I'm going to do is paint this bed. Got a little bit of filler work to do on it. And then I'll open this up and find out what colour Emily is having it painted. Right, so let's get all these parts out onto the bench and... Uh Get the sanding down done first and uh, then we get the paint out and see what it's like.
So I've got a few bits and pieces left to do on it. But that's more or less it. So I'll be painting the headboard tomorrow. I'll do the side rails today. Just waiting for the filler to dry. There's a few bits I didn't like. And then I'll get the paint out and see what colour she's having it. I think I know already. In that last little clip you saw me using a chisel. I well, might have done. Just to get the runs out. I'll just try and show you. Using a sharp chisel. If you just gently go away at the paint. If you have, do you get runs in there. No pressure. Virtually no pressure. Well, virtually no pressure. And that's nearly gone, look. So a little bit of sandpaper on that and that'd be it. Right, let's see what colour it can be. I'm trying to cover my name up put some address on it. By Farrow and Ball. Um, just a quick look. Where's the colour? You gotta be kidding me. It's gonna be black. Really? Okay, well, it's a matte black, so maybe that's not so bad. Thank God it's not gloss black. Okay, so it's going to be done in matte black. Just going to see what it looks like in real time. I know the actual lighting is rubbish, but uh, yeah, quick. Farrow and ball paint before. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how many coats it's going to need. I was going to be sprayed, but this thing is huge.
Okay guys, so this paint really goes on really well. I've looked all over it, I cannot find a drip anywhere. And I want to show you something which I haven't seen very often. And put the paintbrush in and just watch. That's how thick that paint is. That's quality for you. That paintbrush is not disappearing, look. Okay, so I've got the headboard to do now. So we bung that on time lapse. And uh, that's got one, well he's gonna have his first coat. So, right, let's get on with it. That coat went on really well. I can tell you this paint is something else. I'm just gonna wait around to see if there's any drips while it's drying. This is mid-December. This is December 29th and it's 17 degrees. I'm sure if you're watching this in a few months time, but you're even a year's time, you remember this day. I can't believe it's that high outside. So I've got this here drying. I've got the other bits drying over on the bench and the side rails, they need another coat. So when that's done, uh, or when it's dried, should I say, I will go and do another coat on that. This will need another coat today, and it's gonna have to be left to dry over the weekend so the paint really sets off, especially in the uh, weather we got here. Okay guys, look what's just turned up. It's the correct transaxle. So when we actually turn the bit in the middle there, the bit on the other side should move. I know this one's perfect. So this one I'm gonna swap over. So, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so I've uh, got the new transaxle here. And this one, if you look on there, it's 26 inches uh, wide. And this one is 22 inches wide. So I have to change this shaft over onto that shaft. So I'm just going to find out how easy that is. So I'm just going to open up this side to see what I'm up against. To see what's in the way. Okay. Right, so I've taken it all apart, the actual one I purchased. So I know how that all comes apart. It's actually very easy. So I'm going to um, put these to one side take that off, transfer all that from that transaxle in there to this one and then put the machine back together. Starting now. Right guys, I've just started to take it apart to replace this axle over and I've noticed that when it's up here, the actual, it does turn, okay. But what's happened is that where this one, when I'll turn that axle, hold on, take a look in there. This one will now turn here, we'll actually turn the axle. And if we do it gently, it might turn around. This wheel is actually, if you look down there, I don't know if you can see it, we may not be able to see it actually. The shaft isn't actually moving. There's a woodruff key in here. Right.
Okay guys. Right. There was no Woodruff key in there, look. Nothing. So now if you look at the Woodruff key, I'll keep it top dead centre. And now I turn the shaft, it's now working as it should. So it wasn't necessary to buy the other shaft. I have had these parts break before, and that's why I suspect it, but I didn't think that somebody would be that stupid as not to put a Woodruff key back in a wheel. Pratt. I've got enough to get that off. If I haven't, I've still got the other one. I can change this panel over, but I'm hoping I can hold this with a something, something quite tight and get that off. Right, so I suppose I better put it back together now. Um, if you are the engineer who was working on this machine prior, which I pretty much doubt you're going to get to see this, you should be ashamed of yourself for forgetting to put one of those back in. Right, I'm going to put it on a bit of time lapse and back together, running, back to the customer today. Okay guys, so remember what I said at the beginning of the video, this is your brake, that puts it into drive, it's now in drive, and we set the brake off, now in neutral. Drive, neutral. Right, now stick some batteries in it, and get this straight back to the customer. Right guys, I've just put the batteries on just to connect it up to make sure I'm happy with it so I put it all back together. And you can say that's a winner. Right, happy days. Right guys, Emily and Reggie's bed has now dried so we can now arrange delivery of it to them. So that's going to be done later in the week where I'll take it to the house and I'll assemble it for them. But that's going to be a wrap for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and we'll see you very soon in the next one.